when I got my first drop shipping sale, most of your other drop shipping gurus were still in diapers. That's right, I've been making sales online for 21 years. And in this video, I'm cutting out all the filler, the fluff, and the junk to show you how to set up a drop shipping store and be ready to take orders in less than 30 minutes. But first, a question. Have you ever gotten a tech item that guarantees to make things easier and faster? But at the end of the day, it ends up costing more money, taking more time, and leaving you super frustrated. Not to mention, it costs you lots of sales. And today, we're getting back to the basics of what's worked for the last 21 years and what still works today. And that is focusing on the E-T-O. But the gurus aren't talking about this. They'd rather confuse you with things that cost you money, and in the long run, you need to pay them because now you're confused. And I gotta tell you, in addition to the ETO, which is a principle used by Amazon and other major companies, we also need to focus on market speed. That's right, you need a way to change things at the drop of a hat, create new pages, new order buttons, and anything you want like that. No more spending hours in front of the computer anguishing over how to set things up to make a beautiful page that doesn't sell. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you an easy way to make a one product dropshipping store that'll be ready to get you sales in 30 minutes. I remember it like it was yesterday. I had found this keyword that people were searching for, gas powered scooters for cheap. Yeah, the whole phrase exactly like that. And I was getting over 2000 visitors a month for free from the search engines. And I tried everything, affiliate marketing, AdSense, I even became an eBay affiliate. But at the end of the day, I was making pennies on the dollar. So I did a little research and I found this guy who would drop ship scooters for me and I could sell them on my website. He told me that I could sell the scooters for $300 and all I had to do was PayPal him $170 and he'd ship it to the customer. Yes, this guy is still in business today using the exact same methods we used over 17 years ago. So I went to work. Back then, we didn't have Shopify. We didn't have all these fancy tools. So I set up a simple HTML page with a simple PayPal button that allowed them to check out really quick. And because my site was simple, at 22 years old, this little dropshipping site took in $16,000 the first month. Disclaimer, results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. We have no idea how much you'll make. Most people trying to make money online make zero. Enter the ETO. The ETO is all about making things simple, quick, and easy to order. This concept so popular, Amazon patented the one-click order button. You ever wonder why you buy so much crap on Amazon? It's because you don't have to get your credit card out. You don't have to fill anything out. You click the button and it shows up on your doorstep. And since that is the most popular e-commerce store on the entire internet, I think there's a few things we can learn. So for the next couple minutes, I want you to suspend this idea of creating beautiful, fancy stores with flying graphics and cool buttons and focus on making money like Patrick over here. So we're gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna dive in the computer and show you exactly how to make a one-page dropshipping site that sells like crazy using WordPress and PayPal. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is take a look at our keywords and choose one item or a little grouping of items to sell. We don't wanna go out there and make some gigantic dropshipping store because it's gonna be difficult to get traffic. So we wanna focus on one type of product. I could focus on a scooter or maybe three or four scooters or different colored scooters or whatever it is. And we're gonna make this very, very easy. And we wanna do this by looking at the keywords and looking at how we're gonna sell this. You could sell this with YouTube videos, with social media, Instagram, paid search, Facebook ads, whatever it is you wanna do, you can sell this in a really easy way. But first, make sure that the market is ready and good to go. And we do that by looking at keyword tools like Ahrefs. The Ahrefs keyword tool will show us how many times a month each keyword is searched for so that we know there's demand for our product. The next thing you wanna do after you find the product is find a drop shipper. You could simply type in gas scooters, drop shipping, or something like that, and tons of drop shippers will come up. You find the one that gives you the best price, that makes it easy, and you're good to go. Next, we're gonna to wanna to get a domain name. We wanna get a domain name that's short, sweet, and to the point. 
I chose scooterpals.com. I chose this domain because I actually sold my dropshipping scooter store years ago. So I like Scooter Pals. It's short, it's sweet, it's to the point, and Scooter Pal is for sale for like $6,600. So I thought it was a pretty good value considering GoDaddy says it's worth $1,100. Next, what I want to do is go to gohubsite.com. At gohubsite.com, you can sign up for web hosting. It'll cost you about $100 for the year, and you can have as many sites on one account as you want for the same $107. And they actually give you a free domain name. So we're going to scroll down, and we're going to go over here, and we're going to type our domain name in the box right over here. And we're going to see if our domain name's available. And if it's available, you're going to go ahead and get it and sign up for web hosting. This will get you all set up and they'll actually give you WordPress for free so you could set up your site really simple. If the domain if the domain's not available, we can choose one of the alternate suggestions that they give us and then we can go ahead and sign up for web hosting. And if we do the 12-month plan with no add-ons, it should be about $107 a year. We sign up there and we're ready to go. Then, when I log into my hosting, after I'm all signed up, I can go down here and click on Quick Install, and I can install WordPress. We're going to install it to the root directory so it shows up on scooterpals.com. We'll choose a username, put in a password, give our site a title, and a tagline, and click Install. Once we're done, we can see WordPress is now installed. All we have to do is go to scooterpals.com slash wp-admin, and we can log in and start setting up our site in a really simple way. Now again, remember, we want to stay very simple and very basic. We want to learn from sites like Amazon that have a very simple layout with a picture of the product, a description, and a button to order. We could see they use this on pretty much everything, and on some of them, they have the Buy Now button, which is that fancy one-click order stuff we talked about earlier. So the first thing we want to do is create a theme for our site so that it doesn't look like the basic WordPress theme like this. We're going to do this by going over to simpleblogtheme.com. We're going to put our name, and we're going to put our email, and then we can download the simple blog theme right here. Once you download and extract the theme, you're going to see a bunch of files that look kind of confusing. But don't worry, it's actually pretty simple. We're going to go into Images, and we're going to replace My Logo, My Logo Large, and Page. So I can go to some place like clipart.com, and I could search for a scooter, and I can use this as my logo and my background and everything like that. So let's say I want to use this for my logo. I simply take my favorite image editing program, take a little snapshot of the scooter, right like this. Then I'm going to open the logo files. All you need to do is edit one and save it over top of both of them. So we're going to go like this. We're going to remove the logo that we have in here right now. We're going to get our scooter, and we're going to put it right here like this. There we go. Right like this. We'll fit it in there. And then we're going to put our website name, which is scooterpals.com. Shrink it up a little bit. Make sure it fits properly. And once we have it the way we like, we simply file save as, and we save it over my logo and my logo large. Next, we're going to go ahead and replace the page file. For this one, we're going to want a large full image. So we could take something like these people play in sports. We can use these pictures of scooters here. Or we could use something like this. We're going to take a large version of the image, right like this, and we're going to crop it and save it so it becomes our nice background. So it becomes the background for our site. Save image as. We're going to go ahead and drop down to all files, and we're going to save it over top of page.g, page.jpeg. Once we're done, it should replace the file right like this, 
and we can edit the sizing and everything using our favorite image editor. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff up here and just start it right like this. File, save. Now we're done. All we need to do is go back to the main theme files, select all, click send to compress zip folder. Name it, give it a name, right like this. Go back into our WordPress, go to appearance, themes, add new, upload theme, and then we're going to choose the file that we just created. Right like this. Install, activate, and now you can see our theme has changed. Pretty simple, right? Next, we want to get rid of all this other junk over here. So we're going to go into widgets and drag and drop every widget over here. Make sure you check make sure you check these other boxes as well because sometimes there's going to be some widgets in these too and we want to get rid of those. Once we're done, it should have just the hello world on it. There you go. Now, we're going to go into Settings, Reading. We're going to go where it says Your Home Page Displays. We're going to choose Static Page, and we're going to use the Sample Page, because that's all we got right now. We're going to hit Save Changes. That's going to make our home site the Sample Page. Then we're going to go over to Plugins, Add New, and we're going to install the Classic Editor plugin. Activate. And what that's going to do is get rid of this block editor and get us back to the easy editor, which makes things a lot easier. Give our page a title, right like this. Get rid of all this text here. Give it a headline, right like this. And we want to make sure we tell them exactly what they're getting. We're going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger, bold, and choose a color. I usually like to choose red or something like that. Then we're going to go ahead and get an image of the scooter. We're going to choose full size, insert, and shrink it down to the size we want it to be. Next, we're going to add a description of the product, right like this. You can get this from the drop shipper. Again, we'll make some of this a little big and bold so it looks nice. Hit update, and you can see what it's starting to look like. Next, we're going to use a PayPal button generator. You can find these online for free or use the ones we have available in the Simple Sites course or the Blog Profit Network course. We're going to go in like this, choose which button we want to use, put our item number, our item name, make sure you add any options like a color or the size or whatever it is. We're going to choose our item price. Then we're going to enter our PayPal email. Once you're done, you're going to copy this code here, put a little placeholder where you want the button to go, right like this. Then choose text and replace that text with the button code. And once you're done, they can see the item, the description, click the button, and you get paid. And since this is going to be an order site, we want to go in and make sure it's secure. We can do that by going to Settings, General, and just put a little S after the HTTP. And now our site is secure and we're ready to take orders. And believe it or not, simple sites like this outsell the fancy ones like crazy. And if I decide to add new products or colors, I can either add them to the same page or go in and create new pages and have as many as I want. Just make sure the order buttons have the different product so you know what they're purchasing. And if you need to add legal disclaimers, which you should, especially if you're selling something like scooters, you need a good waiver and disclaimer. We can actually put them on the page below the order, right like this. You can put your disclaimers in here. 
or we can create new pages and link to them. So if I wanted to create a new page like this and call this page disclaimer, I could just publish it and get the link. I'd put all my disclaimer information down here and then I can actually copy this link address and I can link to the disclaimer right like this. Update and we're good to go. You could do disclaimer, terms of use, refund policy, privacy policy, anything like that. Another option is that you can put this in the footer. You can simply do that by going to theme options, right like this, scroll down to where you see the footer, and then you could just override this footer and put your links for your disclaimers, your privacy policy, your terms of use, all of that in the footer, and then it'll show up right here where it says place important links here. It's pretty easy. And now all I gotta do is get some traffic and make some money. So as you can see, you don't need to watch a three hour video on how to do this. It's actually very simple. And using PayPal is a great way to get started because many dropshippers take PayPal, which means you get the money from the customer, you send it to the dropshipper, and you keep the difference. You can also use this method with Stripe or any other payment processor by just linking to the checkout button. And you could even use this method for affiliate pre-sales pages if you want to do affiliate marketing. And if you want to learn more about this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe, click the bell, and smash that like button, and check out my next video up here around somewhere.